Hi guys, let me start with an invitation. We have for some time now, I've initiated a group on, on Telegram for ISO builders, so people who use Calamaris as a tool to build an operating system on uh, the future system of the user. So it's already, the group is growing and growing and one of them is now Archcraft, is also part of our little group where we have our what ifs and if we have, we ask our questions to Adrian from Calamaris. So we have a direct line there. We um, he has some work for us. We test some beta versions or stuff like that, and, and we give feedback. So it's it's really working well. And if you are a person that is also working on Calamaris and 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 and, and, and you're an ISO builder, right? Well, you just contact me uh, directly and I'll add it to, to the group. So he has done some work. So Calamaris was not used, did not used to be on Archcraft. And we've seen the progress he has made. And now there is an ISO out, right? An official release of the ISO. So let's have a look together how Calamaris works with his view, right? It's always, I say always, it's choices. You, you have the choice to use Arch Linux and voila, Archcraft has been created. Let's boot up. Choices of packages, system D, you know it, uh, Grub and LightDM, SEDM. It's all a choice. And in the end, um, we'll have a nice system, a system that works that's based on Arch Linux in this case, or based on uh, Ubuntu, right? It's, it's still, it's, it's a choice. Calamaris is just an installer. It does not say you need to have uh, this particularly this uh, uh, arch setup. Uh, phew, I don't know what it was again. Let's try Archcraft. If that's the root, otherwise I have to look it up online. Or was it just plain enter? So if this happens on Arch Linux, uh, sorry, on Arch Linux, no, it's just an empty password, so it's just an enter. Let's pause the video and look what the password is. All right, I found the page. It uh, has to be live user without any typos, I guess, since I thought I had used that. Anyway, Archcraft, that's it. All right, live user, we're in. I'm, of course, interested in the, the look of Calamaris. This is a, a welcome. Yeah, it's a welcome inside Calamaris, or is this not yet Calamaris? No, it's just a welcome and getting started application. And then you get some, some more lines about us and gallery and so on. So get started might do the trick. No, don't need to be here. Let's have a look for, there you go. Install Archcraft, expert, and probably expert is gonna be um, scripts, I think it was. I think I have tested this before. So escape, not interested. I'm interested in Calamaris. What did he do? Because I've seen some images already on the website. He has some images. So you can theme Calamaris any way you want. So basically I'm making a promotion video for Calamaris. Um, anything can be done with it. Well, anything is a big word, but there is a variety of things you can do with it. And one of them is, of course, teaming. So you have all these possibilities. These are the things we have to go through. And here are some information, American English. You choose the language you like about. It's the latest version we're using. And you can donate and up, you go to the website and there you go. Ashcraft support. Let's keep that open, no issues, and then release. Everything opens nicely. Voila, and then next. Next, he knows I'm living in Brussels, so that's great, that's GOIP thing that's working, that's the server of Plasma that responds to, to us and say, look, um, that's where you're living. You can change all these things, standard Calamara setup. And this is important for us, right? The keyboard, in my case, Azerti. And then erase disk, no swap, swap, no hibernate, with hibernate, to file, stop that's it or the manual partitioning erase disk is good 
Standard it's BTRFS, so we did do not get a choice or anything. It's this is it. It's BTRFS for you, and you can just uh, select these guys, of course, and and um, encrypting as well. So it means four choices here, encryption here, which means eight choices with BTRFS. And then next, the name like that, all set here. You choose whether you want to log in, yes or no. It's entirely up to you. It's still a choice here. Next. And the summary is here. And then we install our system. Thanks for choosing Archcraft. And if you click these things here, it's actually a slideshow. So you can, if it's too slow, you can actually click on it. So it goes a bit faster, development internet. These are of course the Arch Linux packages. You just install what you like on one and a half. It's just a pseudo pacman minus s away. So it's still the same knowledge, the knowledge you get on Arch Linux is just Arch, right? So Ctrl Alt T is what I pressed and update is not gonna work, right? <laughs> It says this H, so that's we know already. And sudo pacman minus S Y like this, for example. Live user, I guess. Voila. We've updated our system. Now, how do I get out of this thing? Um, Ctrl T I did. How about super Q? Super Q was good. Some desktops. Some figures, some, some uh, well, elements to share the sound and all that scroll up scroll down we can click to have another view here and that's better not pressed and this is archcraft um i have a right mouse button that's good terminal emulator let's see what we get is new fetch installed yes it is so we can learn a little bit more okay pacman around thousand I have files, six zs h open box. That's what we're using. Okay, adapter, arc dark, arc circle, alacrity terminal, and the rest is just information from my hardware. So right, mouse click, web browser, file manager, text editor, applications that are appearing at after a while. Quantum manager is there, graphics is there, Funier. So it's a choice and I like Nomax. Funior, I know it, but it's, yeah. For, for my workflow, Nomax is better. I can need to crop things and, and all that for the website. So that's why. Appearances, PowerPoint box, QT5 settings system here. I like everything is here. We can print here. Time shift is available. Apps as root. So it's a nice way to put them all together. Good idea. Shortcuts, color chooser, music player, visualizer. Quick links maybe, yeah. Screenshots, now three, five seconds, boom, five seconds. And then places, recent files, preferences, lots of preferences since that's typically open box, right? It's really not a finished product in the sense that it's not a finished desktop, it might be great to work on you don't hear me say that but it's it, it requires so much extra tools extra packages to really be complete have the feeling that it's a complete system we have here the blur effect restart compositing change style beach forest manhattan nordic change fonts change launcher the styles ribbon button maybe i don't know what what the launcher is is that this i think that might be this the launcher yep i guess it is uh, escape i suppose yeah right mouse click preferences so there are really some nice things in here change launcher let's try it again full left oh right <laughs> not so much fan of the, the colors to the left here the the pink and the blue but the rest is beautiful so again, right, choices, preferences, personalized stuff. That's always um, gonna matter. Power menu, does that. Easy to add, easy, easy to install, but take a look at all the, the possibilities. Of, in this case, terminal color scheme, so erosion, 
Control T, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's changed in color. And Super Q is back out. We're almost done. In the meantime, we've uh, taken a look at the beautiful system, preferences, generate wallpapers if you want to, random, blurred, plasma. Let's take a plasma thing. Uh, random, yeah, okay, cool. Choose one for me. And uh, nope, <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> random is random, Eric. <laughs> Change wallpaper. Ah. Uh. Then we get nitrogen, and we've got the logos, I suppose. Apply. Never was really a fan of wallpapers with logos, but again, a choice. Beautiful, beautiful, right? But I'd rather use a logo in a conky and then a wallpaper from anybody, right? Freedom. Have a wallpaper and then superimpose a logo. Oof. All right. Just some thoughts. Restart now. I can tell them in the group that we have successfully installed everything. So that's cool. And here we have the same uh, grub theme that we have. It's just a, a different wallpaper. Archcraft, advanced options, always interesting. So we can edit these things. Just made a comment on it on the forum can change these lines if you can't boot it's because somewhere on your system there is something that blocks the kernel and and it can't boot so you can say no epic or, or no acpci and stuff like that just google it and then you'll find that for some hardware you need to add something to the grub line in order to be able to boot and later on have to change the grub aha uh -huh, i have my own account I did not auto log in, so that's something I should mention. But there we go, getting started. We have our Arch Linux system based on Archcraft. Based on, there he is. Okay, must have misclicked. Sudo Pacman minus SYU YYU. Get everything in it, it means complete new databases. Get them all in. All right, they're in. Just a few things since the ISO was built only a few hours ago. So there you go. That's Archcraft for you. Right mouse click, you have your open box. Accessories and all that, we've went through it. Hey, can we have open box? This menu of open box is it a manual created or is it generated otherwise i would like to change the fact that it does not have icons can you add icons to it i'm not sure here's the settings manager and now it's exploring right it's it's just exploring what's uh, on this machine the file manager can help you there. Those are the icons they use. NeoFetch will tell you what icons they are. Arc Circle is the name. So documents, I don't know. Eric, Control H maybe. Control H. This is how it all looks. I uh, wanted to go to the computer, to the file system, to etc to pacman.d where are the files coming from mirror lists arch linux uk mirror wait a moment minus sy archcraft there is a line of about archcraft in there so it's not going to be in a mirror list then it's going to be in etc pacman.conf Blah. and down here we have the line I'll give her the tip to move this one up to the top since um, Arch Linux works or Pacman works when it gets the package from the first line it stops looking 
So if the package you want to install comes, uh, if, if it finds it on the Arch Linux repositories, it will never get to yours. So this one, if you have Discord, for example, a few days ago, Discord was not updated on Arch Linux. We build our own Discord and we put it on our own repo. But then this one needs to be all the way up since then it finds our Discord version, our new one, and it, everybody has a new one until Arch Linux does its work, updates it, and then our Discord can go away from our uh, repo. But in order to everything to work uh, in this scenario for to, to be able that it works, this one needs to be at the top. So some general education. <laughs> I always do that. I am a teacher at heart, so don't mind me. No file intention uh, is in, in this text here. Just, all right, I have to go now. Um, see you later. Cheers.